Hi, welcome to the Beeline Training Center. Today what we're going to be working on is a equal decrease with the 406 tool group. Right now we have set up the beam, two clevises, two axle correction clevises, two yokes. We also have our stackables on there. In this case it's just the one, making sure it locks into place. At this point what we'd like to do is bring up one ram at a time until it makes contact with the axle. Once it's made contact with the axle, we'll bring the other one up. Once we have them both on face of the axle, we can then apply pressure and do a correction on the axle. Go. So we're going to apply pressure here to the left side first. Again, once it's made contact, stop at that point and switch to the other side. Close your valve on the pump. Open the other valve, bring it up, once it's made contact, go ahead and open up both valves, and then watching your screen monitoring the camber movement, and periodically looking at the axle and the pressure. Go ahead and bring the axle up, decreasing at the amount that you need. Once you have your desired amount, release it. Check the alignment screen to see if you've got the numbers that you need, and then continue on. Now, while applying a pressure, monitor the axle to ensure that it's going straight down. While you're applying pressure, you may get some slight movement of the beam and the rams themselves. All they're doing is getting in line with the axle. That is part of Beeline's philosophy of a full floating beam. So it's all going with it and nothing's being held. So once you get it to the desired position, when you're applying pressure, make sure you're standing off to the side or behind the tire when you do that. So that if anything should foresee come out, it's going to go forward or backwards. So do not stand in front of it. Again, one of the major benefits of correcting an axle with this particular tooling is that the beam is actually in line and floats with the axle. So at all times you're getting a straight push. This is ensuring that you're getting the proper pressure applied to the axle and nothing can come out or go sideways on it. This will allow you to correct camber, which is the number three in tire wear, which is primarily overlooked by most other alignment companies.